Alright, hey guys, this week I wanted to take a look at a rather obscure line of toys called Zybots. Now, what are Zybots, you're probably asking yourself? Well, they're a knockoff of kind of like GoBots and MotoBots, which are all knockoffs of, well, Transformers. Why you'd want to knock off GoBots or MotoBots is beyond me, but that's aside from the point. Now, MotoBots came in about 20 different assorted types of vehicles and figures, and you could buy them individually, which I don't remember many stores really carrying them, aside from KB Toy Stores. I don't think they were sold at Toys R Us. And you can get them in packs of 10, too. These would be more found at your local Wool Woolworths, because they were kind of an economy value price toy. They also came in a big 20-pack, where you could assemble them into a multi-force robot, which doesn't have a name. The only name that even comes close to them is just multi-force robot. That's the thing with most of the Zybots. None of them had any names or really discerning features at all. They're kind of neat looking, but this overall just cheapens the feel of the toy. So now let's take a look at some of the Zybots that I have here today. Alright, as you can see I have two of the Zybot toys here. This one is the Zybot Towing Off-Road Vehicle, and that is literally the only name that it has. It actually says Zybot on the sticker on the side and it has the nice orange and blue stickers running down the side. It should have a roll bar up on the top, I believe, and you can see the undercarriage as well with the stickers and the nice big wheels. Overall, it's still a pretty good looking uh, little off-road vehicle. So you can see we can uh, transform them here and they're really easy to transform. Flip the arms out and the legs down. Sometimes they get stuck every now and then, but they're kind of like the Motobots uh, that I reviewed before where their transformations are really simple. Um, you can see he has what is supposed to pass for a face up at the top, but you really can't make it out. It's just like a blue blob. Uh, stickers aren't in the greatest of shape, but they're still pretty nice with his various dials and gadgets and things like that. And the arms are fairly poseable. And this was one of the ones that you could combine into the giant multi-force robot, but I have no idea how you would do that. And that thing kind of looks like a poor, sad Frankenstein robot to begin with, but I'd like to see one. I don't wonder how many of them are actually out there. Uh, anyway, this is the tractor trailer. As you can see, it's missing the bed on the back. It's supposed to have a large tractor trailer cargo bed. And I think it's supposed to have a Zybot sticker on the top hood as well. Now, if you thought the other little Zybot was easy to transform, this is even easier. All you do is flip him over and pull the arms out. And that is literally it. He is ready to go. Um, I think he looks really cool, though. He has really, really nice stickering and the face. I don't know how well you can see that, but he has like a little smile on his face there. And it uh, looks really cool. So even for being cheap little toys, I still think they're kind of neat. And hope you guys enjoyed looking at the Zybots with me today and learning something about this neat little toy line from Remco. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingerRetro. See you next time.